Welcome back, guys, to our playthrough on Fallout 4 modded. So, last time we got all this cool stuff out of Vault Tech for, you know, hopefully fixing our ASAM Com Hub doohickey. So, now we're gonna head over to Diamond City and talk to the Ron. Find out what's going on over there. So, we'll just exit out of this here building, and then we'll just fast travel up there. Since we seem to get ourselves killed along the waterfront an awful lot in this game, we'll just try and avoid the waterfront for now. Spend an awful lot of time in load screens. Good old Bethesda. They just love their load screens. Eh. Eh. No. Pop over here because I thought there was something we needed to look at. They mentioned the Nightingales, didn't they? That there was a hospital or something in front of Diamond City? Oh, well, I guess we'll check it here later. You know, a shotgun's great insurance against raiders, but I got a lot of options here. I've got a few minutes to browse. Feel free to test the grips. Alrighty. Rocking for weapons right now. 4570, we ought to try that out. I don't need the mine or the grenade. 44 mag would be good to pick up. Let's see. Let's see if we can make up that money. Don't need the Sentinel's chest piece. See if selling our junk will get us there. Almost. Not actually going to use that, so we can go ahead and get rid of that. That costume, might as well ditch it. Let's see. Hmm. Works for me. Than I expected. Doctor says I can't drink liquor. Don't, don't have a Nuka Cola, unfortunately. Uh, where are we 
we going? This way? Wasting so much time trying to find this guy. It's not even a paid contract. Because Algernon told us to. And the captain's not a man you ignore. <laughs> well, I just might. I got better things to be doing. <laughs> hey! Where do you think you're going? Now you better answer if you want to keep those teeth. Easy. I'm not looking for trouble. Then you better start talking. Will you just leave them alone? We're not meant to start trouble with the locals. Yeah? Well, how do we know this ain't the man we're looking for? He doesn't even match the description. Now come on, let's get going. We got work to do. God, you son of a You got lucky this time, Wastelander. I better not see your face again. Well, that was a rather unpleasant individual. Holy crap. Hey, alright! Another new client. Don't be shy now. No need to stay in the waiting room. Come sit your hips up down. Okay. How about some pie? Oh yeah! I like that look. The kind that says, don't start trouble with me, unless you're cruising for a bruising. I can tell you're a guy with his head on straight. The smart, sophisticated type who really understands the way of things. Nice to meet a friendly face. You don't get just a friendly face, my friend. You get the whole package deal. The face, the talent, the unrivaled resourcefulness. You get the Ron! I need to ask you something. Ask away! Although I can't chat for too long, I'm expecting... Say... Correct me if I'm wrong, but I get the feeling you were sent here by Jake. That's why I'm here. When you're right, you're right, baby! And nine times out of ten, the Ron is usually right. Gotta say, I'm surprised to see Jake partner up with someone. I always struck me as the lone wolf kind of guy, you know. But any friend of Jake's is a friend of the Rons. Now, let's get down to brass tacks. The reason I asked Jake back here was so I could share some information. But since you're his partner, I can tell you the info instead. For a price. After all, I'm running a business here. You've got my attention. Let's hear it. As Jake tells it, you and he are building up settlements together. Now that's cool and all. But he's off the gas for a second. Have you stopped to think about the people joining those settlements? After all, it's the people that make a town. And surely you want the best and brightest, right? Of course. Ah, uh, but you can't always tell who's hip just by looking. Or can you? You ever heard of a vigor tester? It's a kind of science machine, cooked up by pre-war nerds. It can measure a person's attributes. Use it to scan someone, and it can tell if they're as strong as a deathclaw, or as weak as a kitten. Smart as an AI, or as dumb as a mutant. Pretty rad! A useful device, especially for some cool cat wanting to find the cream of the crop. Just so happens, the Ron knows where to find one of these Vigor testers. And... I'm willing to tell you where it is. Oh, your capacity for intrigue never ceases to impress. Piper, please. The Ron's busy with a client. However, there is a small matter of payment for this information. 300 caps. Sound fair? Sure. Here you go. Oh, yeah. First things first, take this folder. That's all the info the Ron could dig up on the Vigor Tester. Now, according to the Ron's records, last known location of the tester was Vault 81. But dig this! That vault's still active, still has residents inside. So, common courtesy says, you knock first. If you can get inside, ask someone in charge about the tester. If it's still there, chances are they'd know. 
On a side note, if you're looking for able settlers, I got a few leads you might be interested in. Here, this info's on the house. Thank you. Uh, I'm sure that'll come in handy. Ask, and you shall receive. Oh, yeah! Since it appears Jake is busy, I suggest pursuing the Vigor Tester yourself. If you don't know where Vault 81 is, it's near the old Chestnut Halic Reservoir. Just look for all the water. You can't miss it. Thanks for your help. You are more than welcome. And remember, if you've got information to buy or information to sell, then you come see the coolest cat in the Commonwealth. The Ron! Interesting fella. Interesting that Piper had an interaction with him. Hi. Welcome to the Ron's Information Emporium. How can the Ron help you today? Let's trade. Does he even sell? Nothing. Okay. He does not sell anything. Alright. I guess we're going to Vault 81. Interesting fellow. Not sure I could refer to myself in the third person all the time, though. That might drive me nuts. Why buy just an ordinary piece of wood? chaos will we run into on our way to Vault 81? I imagine I'll die at least once. That seems to be par for the course. Yeah, we should probably go back to our settlement and see if we can build anything else with the ASAMs, or at least see if we can do anything else with our settlement? Hmm. Well, I don't see anybody out here that's a nightingale thing. Probably took a rather long roundabout way, but that's okay. something but I must be wrong hmm. chaos junction appears to be extra chaos -y today let's just avoid that conflict I'd rather not have a vertebrate fall on my head See? See? what I tell you? Vertebrates fall on your head. Yep, nope, uh-uh. Nope, nope, nope. There's a Yagwai fighting a caravan up there. Nope, we're just going to go inside. We're not dealing with any of that noise. Uh-uh. Nope, nope, nope. No siree. 
I've died too much in the last several episodes to go dying again. That's ridiculous. Well then hurry up, you can ask your questions. Shush. Don't need a copyright strike. Yeah. So Hi, how are you? There you are. <clears throat> ah, hello again. Is there anything I can help you with? Can you take a look at these schematics? Oh goody. More junk from the Commonwealth for me to examine. All right, hand it over. I'll look. You don't have to be a oh, prick. I know this device. It's the Vitamatic. The Vault's previous physician used it all the time. However, when Dr. Forsyth took over, he deemed the device too... hazardous. Something about combustible tumors or some such. Is that why you're here? For the Vitamatic? If so, I'm afraid I'll have to disappoint you. Even if we no longer use the device, it's a rare piece of technology. I can't just hand it over to some unwashed outsider. Maybe we can reach an agreement? Hmm. Perhaps if you were to perform a number of services for the vault. You see, part of my job is making sure the vault runs smoothly. This often means dealing with minor issues before they become a problem. If you've the wherewithal to solve a number of these issues, then I suppose I could justify giving you the Vitamatic as payment. Yeah, sounds fair. The first task I'd ask of you is rather mundane, but vital to the vault's continued survival. You see, our vault's reactors are kept running almost exclusively by a single robot, Old Rusty. However, due to his poor maintenance, Rusty requires a lot of oil to stay operational. A lot of oil. If you could bring, say, ten units of oil to Old Rusty, that should ensure his continued operation. At least for a few months. That doesn't sound hard to fix. Rusty is long past due for maintenance. It's not that fixing him would be hard. We simply can't afford the downtime of taking him offline for repairs. Sure, I can do that. Your <laughs> next task would be a little more hands-on. Recently, the vault's been having some issues with its water supply. We've had to run the pumps at full power just to draw in enough water. And the water we do get is of... questionable quality. I'd need you to check the intake pipe at the nearby reservoir, see if anything is blocking the water flow, and if it is, clear it. You may have to get a bit wet, if you manage to solve the issue, find and speak to Catelyn. She deals with the vault's plumbing. I'm on it. Clean water coming up. <laughs> I'll believe it when I see it. If you do succeed, I'll have one more task for you. Finish that, and the Vitamatic will be yours. Off you go. Hmm. Surprised I couldn't talk him down on the oil or any of that stuff, really. But that's fine. <sighs> now we gotta go find tin oil. Mm -hmm. I guess back out into the chaos we go. Loading screens are terrible. Okay. So, we need to go junk collecting, basically. One of the things I need to do is down here. Hmm. Am I in the wrong?
wrong spot. <gasps> Do I have to talk to her first? Yeah. Fine. Fine. I'll just go find some oil first. Digest. Okay, it's for the ASAMs. Brotherhoods here. They clearly cleared out the uh, super mutants they were fighting. Where the blast am I gonna get tin oil? I need some place with a lot of junk. Let's go see if there's anything over... Isn't there like a hardware store or something over here? That might actually have oil in it. Super mutants over there somewhere. You wanted to, didn't you? You wanted to fall on my head. I see how you are.
it's taking so long. I know I just saw... There you go, bastard. Fences, all right. Locks really strong. Master lock indicates there should be a key somewhere. down here, huh? hardware store. Are you kidding me? That should have some oil. Battery does not contain oil. was a giant bust. Wasn't any oil. I mean, I guess I can go find a vendor and try to buy some, but that seems silly. I would have thought we'd have some oil somewhere around. I guess I could go check our uh, Hangman's Alley settlement, and if there's none there, I guess it's a good excuse to go check on our settlements up in Sanctuary and see how that's doing. that, I guess. Let's go check on Sanctuary and see what's happening up there. See if I got some oil lurking about in our workbench and maybe play with the ASAMs for a few minutes. 
maybe end the episode on a high note of not dying. That would be perfect. <laughs> that has oil. That's two, three, four. Oh, here we go. Perfect. Alright. So, what's... What is going on up here exactly? Where are we at? Need glass. Carla. Need to pick something up? Road's pretty long from here. I'll take a look, sure. I got a little bit of everything. Mm, let's see, anything else that would have... You know what, let's go ahead and grab some oil as well. Need to get too carried away here. Oh no, not the rat away. around I'm still hearing gunfire that's that quest. Okay. Cool. Okay, let's, uh... Oh, I already have a, uh, desk here, huh?
Might have to uh, look through all of this and read through some of these tutorials and stuff. But right now, I'm not really going to worry about that. Instead, let's see. Are we looking for anything in particular here? Uh, no, we don't have the new plot types yet. Okay, well. Then I guess there really isn't anything we can do here. I guess I could go put water in. Should get some water up and running. We should have some ASAMs that will do. That adds any defense. But otherwise, I think that's it. I don't think we have anything else to add in. Alright. Well, we got the oil, so let's go take care of that at least. Kind of a bum deal. I thought we got new plot types yesterday, but I guess not. I thought he said we got some kind of uh, commercial and entertainment, but I don't know. Such a long elevator ride. Okay. Hey, Mister, are you really from the Commonwealth? Hi. Oh, hey, you must be the outsider. I'm Catelyn, the vault's plumber, or at least the closest thing 81 has to a plumber. I don't suppose Mansfield sent you here. I've been bugging him for weeks now to get someone on the water situation. Yes, I'm here to help. Oh, good. It's about time someone did something. The vault's residents have started to complain about the water, and I don't know what to tell them. The water? Recently, the water pressure from the vault's intake line dropped. That's not a huge deal, it happens now and again. Usually, we just compensate by increasing power to the pumps. Then, when a work team's free, we send them out to clear any blockages. 
but this is the fifth time the pressure's dropped in the last few days. I don't know what keeps causing it, and all the work teams are busy. We do have water and storage tanks, but if we can't get the water pressure back up, we'll be emptying the tanks faster than we can fill them. I've got to get going. Okay, bye. That was the weirdest quest line ever. Okay. Because she didn't actually give you a chance to go... Is the way down to the power station. Wow, you're from oh, that's Aaron's cat managed to get out of the wall. I can't imagine what would be long out there in the pump. Very confused. It's a residential. That's a residential. That's the clinic with Dr. Forsyth. Reactor. There we are. I'm just blind. It's fine. It's totally fine. Can you not do that here? What if people can see Got me some slack, Tina. I've been working 12 hours. Hey, old Rusty. How can I assist you? Warning! Overdue for maintenance! <coughs> Pardon me. Here. This will make you feel better. Oh, thank you, sir. You are most considerate. Nothing like getting the oil flowing, eh? Hey, old Rusty. Please direct any maintenance requests to Mr. DeLuca. They will be handled in the order they were received. So you're programmed for vault maintenance? An astute observation. I assist Mr. DeLuca with reactor maintenance, tending to the heart of the vault. He prefers to supervise while giving me the privilege of fulfilling the tasks. Sounds like a typical boss to me. It's a relief to hear you say so. Compared to his predecessor, Mr. DeLuca has very little mechanical knowledge. I almost thought him unqualified. But when it comes to delegation, he's top notch. Mm hmm. Okay, well, looks like we're going to call our episode there. So next episode, we'll go clear out the water, see what the other task is that we need to take care of. And then see if we can, of course, get the ball rolling on, you know, more of the Sim Settlement stuff. Hopefully this will unlock the other plot types. I thought we had plot types, though, but I don't see it in our build list, so we must not. Which means there's really no point in building up the settlements any further. Because we obviously can't put in anything new or interesting. But I think we're going to stop over here at the vault door and give ourselves our level up. And then we'll call this an episode and see what's happening on our next one. Alright guys, so let's see. What are we going to take for our level up here? Uh, I'm very tempted to dump into Gunslinger to up our 44 mag damage. Uh, could go up in... well, could go up in locksmithing. That wouldn't be the worst. Uh, yeah, let's take locksmith. Alright, cool guys. Well anyways, I think that's been a good episode, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Toodaloo!